Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the paper pumpkin. This is the October 2021 Peaceful Christmas Paper Pumpkin. We're going to be making an alternate card, but let me remind you what this kit looks like. So you get five of each design with some coordinating envelopes that are gorgeous. It has silver foil on it. So this is what the kit would originally make. But today, we're going to make an alternate card. So before we get started with that, of course, you know we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So we are going to start with our gifts galore paper pumpkin kit. This is the kit for November. You have until November 10th to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit. And this kit includes supplies for nine oversized treat boxes with coordinating food safe bags. Okay. Remember, November 10th is the last day to subscribe to get this box. And it comes in a keepsake box, a de decorative keepsake box. Goodness, get that out. Okay, and there will be a link in the description box below for you to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin Kit. Then we have the kits collections. These, again, are the kits that can only be found online. We do have two pictures of two of the kits in the mini catalog because they're um, Christmas themed. So you can find the pictures of those in the catalog, but the pricing and everything will be online only. So go to stampitup.com slash kits to look at those. Then we have the Eden Garden, Eden's Garden collection of products. These products will be available to customers November 2nd. I have placed my order and it hasn't come yet. So when I get it, I will show it to you. So this collection includes a stamp set and dies, which you can purchase together to save 10% when you get it in a bundle. You also have some specialty designer series paper, cotton paper, and the Garden Gems. Again, these three items are while supplies last. So starting November 2nd, you want to hurry up and put your order in because I do suspect that these two items, especially the designer series paper and the gems, will run out before the promotion is over. So if you want to get your hands on the Eden Garden, be ready on November 2nd. If you don't want to wait, you can always join my team. I would love to have you as part of Honeybee Stamping Hive. And there is a link below in the description box for you to do so. This is the host code for October. If you place an order with me, I would love it if you use my host code. If your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you will be eligible for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stamp It Up. Okay, and that is all of our buzzworthy business for today. So let's go ahead and jump right into our project. So what I have here is some basic gray, and I have cut this at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We have some white at three and a half by four and three quarter. We have part of the card front from one of the, um. This is actually the, well, yeah, this is the back of the card um, from the kit. And I cut this down to four and a half by three. Then we have some scrap, one of the pieces that I had left over after cutting down cards. Um, I think this is about three and a quarter. We're going to cut it down to three and a half. Then we have our Noel from the kit. We have some vellum at five and a quarter by four. And we have four strips, two, uh, I mean, not four strips, five strips, I think. Yeah, five strips, three of balmy blue, two night of navy, and they are three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch strips. And the design I'm going to be doing today for our card comes from Casing Tuesday's card sketches, number 326. So we're um, copying a sketch in the mini catalog from the July to December 2021 mini catalog on page 24. You'll see a sample of that. So that's what I'm doing. This card looks nothing like that one. It's just set up the same way. So I am going to start by embossing our vellum. 
I have some the uh, Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this ready to emboss. And let me get my Big Boss out. <clears throat> the Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. Get my plates for embossing, which is plate one and four for this 3D embossing folder. Just gonna run this through right quick. Sorry for all the noise, but it is what it is. And that is okay. So now this is gonna be put on here. I need to get my silicone mat. I can't where did I sit it? Where did I sit it? Because of what I'm gonna do is put some adhesive basically all over this, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna do it in the top corners. So I have a old um, Stampin' Sponge that we used to carry that I just keep for this purpose. I'm just gonna put some glue here, not too much, cause I'm not doing the whole thing. And I'm just gonna rub it across the top and the bottom. I want to make sure I get these corners good because those really need to stick down in these edges. Okay. Whoops. Put that back in the baggie. And let's get this put on here. Hopefully, I put enough adhesive. Let me see, that's not that straight. I forget when you emboss, you probably need to use a little bit more adhesive. So I'm probably gonna need to add a little bit more because I see it's bulking up, bubbling up rather. I might, because of the texture, it might not even show if I just, nope, it'll show. <laughs> but we'll do it like that. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. I guess because it's um, embossed, it's not taking it as it usually does. Okay, I wanted to make this a really quick video really quick okay so let's go ahead and get our inside done this is what the um, white piece is for the basic white let me get this right here so I can measure how far up to put my adhesive this is the Tombow liquid blue you guys know I love using this because I have trouble getting things straight now this piece does have a part portion of one of the trees on there but because it's cut down so small, you can't even tell that's a tree. It just looks like part of the design of the paper. Where are my scissors? Cut off our extra here. Go ahead and glue this on the inside. And we're halfway done. Okay, get this out of the way. So now what we're gonna do, we're, we're going to layer these on our card, alternating colors. Like so. And I'm gonna try to get it evenly spaced for the top and the bottom. To make sure 
pull it down just a little bit more so about right there and we'll go ahead and put our first piece on now I thought about gluing these down to some copy paper and then run it in th um, running it through an embossing folder and then cutting them out to lay on here all as one piece but I kind of liked it plain so we don't need that one anymore just making sure I have it on here straight from edge to edge okay looks like I didn't put glue all the way to the end here so let's make sure we get that glue and this will also help hold down our vellum. So I have um, another alternate card I'm gonna be sharing with you in about two days. And then I have a bunch more that I'm gonna share with you on Saturday. So if you want to see alternate projects, please keep coming back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And occasionally, I do go live. Very rarely, but I do. <laughs> so we have that all done for the front. Let's see, make sure everything is even here. If we have any overhang, we just turn it over and cut it off. Very little, probably just a misplacement. Okay, and then we have our uh, main image here. And what I'm gonna do, uh oh, I thought I put this back in the bag. Oh, I took it back out because I didn't have enough glue and I forgot to put it back. We don't want that to dry out and get hard. So I keep it in a little plastic baggie. Um, We need some dimensionals. I used all of the dimensionals that came in the kit, so, which is very rare. this here down just right across it in the middle sort of kind of huh try to get it straight Shauna try 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 yes I'm using my car to cook up my trash <laughs> I need this out of the way because it's gonna be everywhere if I don't get it now Okay, so now we are ready for our Noel. And what I'm gonna do with this, I am gonna color this with the Knight of Navy Stampin' Blend, okay? So I'm taking a brush tip and I'm just gonna color all over this. I should have did this first because we need it to dry. You don't want to do it too much. I'm trying to get these streaks out because you don't want the streaks all now. Okay, so we're going to let this dry and I will be right back. Okay, this has been drying and it should be dry enough where it won't rub off. So let's pop it out. There you go. That's cute. A blue Noel. It could be a little better. Wonder if I go right here. Just don't wanna see a lot of the silver poking through, but it still gives it that shine. Um, I need some glue. So I have some um, of our Tombow in a smaller container with a thinner little applicator so I can get onto this small area with these letters. 
Oh, I squeezed a little too hard there. So I know what I'm going to do. I know how to take care of that really quick. Let me just finish doing this. And what I'm going to do is I have my silicone mat here. Just going to dab some of that glue off so it won't squirt out. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to place this Noel right at the bottom here. Just like that. Close up our glue so it won't dry out the tip. And then I have some of the holiday rhinestone jewels. What are they called? Holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And it comes in um, Night of Navy, Shaded Spruce, Shaded Spruce, Coastal Cabana, Cherry Cobbler, and Pumpkin Pie. If I can get it open. And we're going to use, of course, the Night of Navy to match our card. So, I think I'm going to use the smaller ones. And I want to put one right there. One maybe down here, and one on the other tree, about right here maybe, right here, yeah about right here, I want it in the black space, about right there. So I don't want to use them as ornaments, but just want to decorate it a bit. So that is one of my alternates using the October 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit, the Peaceful Christmas. This is the inside. I don't know what I'm going to stamp on inside, but there's no stamping on this card. Did you notice that? Okay, you guys, this is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.